I don't think so. Okay, check one, two. One, two, three. Hello, everybody. It's me, Military Snake. I'm going to be playing Deadlock because apparently I got the beta invite for it. And uh, I've heard a few things from a few, a few, a few, a few people. Yes, uh, a few people who have the um, the game already, the, the beta. And they said it, they, there's been some mixed reviews. Okay, so I'm... I'm making this, I don't even know if I can publish this publicly, but um, I'm going to just see how it plays, and hopefully I can get some enjoyment out of it. From what I know about it, it's an Overwatch clone of sorts, and I've never played Overwatch because everyone in my gaming circles tells me that it's not worth it, and they say that there's a, I have a friend in here? Oh, I look, it seems like Katami got the, the, um, um, beta as well so let's open up deadlock and see how it works um, let's uh running install scripts watch this game requires a graphics card that's so far beyond mine that it just kind of explodes if it, if this exploded my computer that would be really funny uh whoa Valve. Is that seriously the splash screen? No music or anything? Oh, shoot. I gotta... I gotta get the game audio working here. Uh, advanced audio properties. No. This one. Properties. The... It's this one. Project 8.exe, deadlock. Okay, so I'm going to exit the game real quick, just so that I can, like, try to reload load it, because the intro to the music was kind of cool, I think. Let's play it again. Let's try, let's try running it. Valve. Why is the game audio not working? This is weird. Looks like I'm turning on the desktop audio for this. Uh, pretty raw type of deal. Um, I'll mute this. Okay, so let's see if it works this time. Valve, loading. All right, okay, it works. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so deadlock beta, I suppose. Um, early development build. Deadlock is still in early development with a lot of temporary art and experimental gameplay. Do not share anything about the game with anyone. Yeah. Make me. Ah, ah. Anyways. Plus 12 in Q. Watch. Interesting. Does this mean people streaming it? Because that doesn't make any sense. Play with friends. Learn to play. Resources. I have no idea what any of this means. I'm already overwhelmed. The music is something. Um, Playtest schedule. Interesting. Um, he's in a bot match right now, so should I just hit learn to play? Get started, hero training, lane training. Yeah, this just... Oh, so it's an Overwatch game. Okay. I don't... Welcome to the Cursed Apple. If your team wants to emerge victorious, you'll need to wield both guns and supernatural powers to lay siege to the enemy base. Okay. Uh, already don't like the art style just because it's saturated and strange. Not necessarily my thing. So... There are four lanes. Each with a transit line that players can ride to move quickly. This seems like... Why would you use the map when you can just use the lanes to get to the central point? It seems a little pointless to me, but okay. Troopers periodically spawn in the base, and 
then run down a lane, fighting any enemies they encounter. Oh. Guardians are the first line of defense in each lane. Their attacks are very powerful, so it's best to push into them with your troopers. Uh huh. Walkers lie deeper in the lanes and have an arsenal of defensive moves. This looks like League of Legends type of deal. Very, very MOBA. <laughs> Your goal is to siege the enemy base and destroy their defenses to reveal their team's patron. Destroy the patron, and victory is yours. Interesting objective. Press space to jump. Okay. I'm not even playing. I'm just watching a bunch of cutscenes. Hold space to get on the line. You can jump off by pressing space. Oh. Press mouse one to shoot. Hold okay. mouse two to zoom in with your weapon. Press mouse one to shoot. Gun damage falls off at longer ranges. I wonder who's voicing this. Press one, two, three, or four to use your hero's abilities. This is all stuff I would be pretty much intuitively know just by playing other shooter games like like Doom and Team Fortress. Hold space when near a ledge to mantle up. Oh, so you can climb up walls and grab ledges. That's cool. The third person thing isn't entirely my favorite mechanic, but whatever. Let's just run with it. Press Q to make a quick attack. Hold Q to deliver a powerful charging attack. Q is no longer quick swapping weapons, I assume. So so Q is an actual attack button. Get souls by killing troopers and players. Wait, there are souls? Souls are shared among allies nearby. What are souls used for? Health? When you land a killing blow, extra souls appear. You can secure these souls by shooting the blue orb containing them or letting them float away. Enemy soul orbs are orange, and enemies will get them if they float away or if they shoot them. You can shoot these orange orbs first to steal them. What's the point? What's the point of souls? Get souls by killing troopers and players. It just says gaining power. So I guess this is like how do you get your charge meters? Destroying an enemy objective earns everyone on your team ability points. You can spend these points to upgrade your abilities by holding tab. Um when you have souls to spend, go back to base to heal and buy powerful items to increase your stats and grant additional abilities. There's also a shot nickel to each guardian, available until the guardian is destroyed. So you gain souls as a means of currency to buy items and abilities. Interesting way of doing things. Um, I, I'm not I'm not entirely familiar with the whole um, buy uh, like play the game to obtain abstract currency and all that. Never been an appeal of mine, but we'll, we'll see. The suggested items tab with handpick recommendations for each hero. The list looks way too overwhelming. I I literally don't even know what I'm looking at. I can't tell. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to read it at some point, but already I'm I'm lost. Hold left control to slide while moving down a ramp, or moving at high speed. So it's not a crouch button; it's a slide button, but only while I'm. Press space at the top of a jump to double jump. Okay, so there's just double like jumps. Double jump. Use your stamina bar, located next to your reticle. Okay. While moving, press left shift to dash. In oh, okay. While airborne, dash to perform an air dash. Wow. Combine a dash and a well-timed jump to perform a dash jump. A dash jump. I mean, the distance on that is pretty good compared to standard dashes. Press F to parry an enemy hero's melee attack. They'll be stunned and will receive increased melee damage. That's a parry? That... Oh, okay. It also seems to turn them around. Hero training. Uh... Abrams charges into close combat has the bulk and sustain to lead from the front often running in the middle of his foes and watching them scatter 
If his enemies waste their fire on him, his backline teammates can lay out damage with impunity. Bebop. Okay. So a robot. I guess these are what the the abilities are. Siphon life, shoulder charge, infernal resilience, and seismic impact. Okay. Sticky bomb. Dynamo. The okay, there we go. Robot didn't load in. Interesting. I don't know who in the world I would pick to play. Especially considering that every single person's ability somehow is different. Which is a little overwhelming. Oh, are you going to load in? <laughs> Character wasn't loading in. Infernus. I might just go entirely off of character design. Because this guy looks cool. And I think I would just use him based on an aesthetic. I've never enjoyed the shading style. Like, it's it's not so much the art style that I have a problem with as much as it is the way in which modern games especially are lighting. Like, the way that the lighting is executed. Like, it's very apparent in Overwatch, but it everything looks matted down. And it's really annoying because there's no fidelity in the textures at all. The metal doesn't even look like real metal. It looks like sanded down metal or, or plastic or something. There's nothing in here that indicates to me that this is supposed to be real at all. Like, I'm not convinced by any of this that I should be taking it seriously because, like, even this guy, it, it doesn't look... The metal, especially, doesn't look good enough. And I, I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um... The shadows are kind of weird. The shadows are not striking enough, they're not dark enough, and the light parts aren't light enough, basically. Um, I just, yeah. Is this guy blind or something? I don't see any eyeballs. Just, what the? This is a Mysterio knockoff uh, or something, because this is just this, this just looks like Mysterio, but slime. Of course, we have our British constable, the warden. He looks cool. Uh, yeah, I don't like the um, lighting styles. I like this. Like this should be way better. This sh I don't. I'm not entirely sure how to execute it. I just know that this gun, this Tommy gun, should look better. Don't you worry. I got you. Oh, everyone has a voice line. Cool. No one's stopping me. Okay. People get me all wrong. I'm not interested in violence for violence sake. I'm not interested in violence for money's sake. Interesting. Sounds Australian. Very sniper-ish. That might be what... Oh, this might be John Lowry's character. That's cool. Looks like I'll have to cancel class this afternoon. Or this guy. I don't know. The voice acting seems cool. My story. I cannot even tell if that was a male, a male or female voice. That was a little weird. Believe me, I've seen some things. Okay, so everybody's got a different loading in. Pair me up with the right person, and this will be over in no time. This is dangerous work. Fortunately, I'm dangerously handsome. <laughs> okay. Do you have the stomach to do what needs to be done? You see, not everyone can handle the weight of. Oh, you need an engineer, huh? She's the engineer character. She looks like the heavy character. McGinnis? I don't know. There's nothing for these cats claw through. Time travel isn't a thing. Yet. Okay. My father's gift for my 18th birthday was a bullet to the chest. Today's my chance to say thank you. Slightly ominous. It's odd that this weapon would have lever action, though. It looks like it should be pump action. My reputation speaks for itself. Okay, I like that guy's voice. Sounds a little... Got a little bit of Cad Bane in there. I've been given my chance for revenge, and I won't squander it. All right, vengeance, typical. I represent the concerns of the deep. 
If I die, so be it. Okay. Friends are just acquaintances you feel bad for extorting. Very nihilistic approach towards friendship, but okay. I don't understand any of that. Uh, who am I going to use? I'm going to use either the red guy here or the first robot. Who wants to play with old people, mate? And here I was thinking I would be reviewing term papers all day. Sometimes, you got to go to extremes to help your friends. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Back to picking a character before it crashes my computer. And what do you know? The game is slowing now. Can't seem to figure out how to get the uh, <clears throat> the computer to not blow itself up. Okay, wow, this is super laggy. Wow. Maybe my computer's just gonna blow up. Cause... This is not gonna work. If this is how it's gonna be. Reload. Okay, manual reload, first of all. Interesting. So Q doesn't do nothing. This is annoying. Ah, nice. I'm a machine gun. I've been working on a special cocktail. Right. It's time to try out your abilities. I don't know how to do that. Interesting. So there's clearly something I need to be moving towards. I am annoyed that I have to zoom in to do anything at all. I don't know how. Oh yeah, one. Oh, okay then. Can I parry the, the big guy? Oh, nope, I died. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. I don't... I don't understand the dynamic it's trying to create for me, really. So, dash is a very spammable type of thing. Oh, it's not, because you require so much stamina. 
It won't let me shoot from that far away. Hold tab or alt. I don't like tutorials where the creepy voices are all like super weird and serious, but they're trying to talk about something important. All oh, right, I need to collect souls, don't I? There we go. Now that's something, right? Interesting. I don't understand how any of this works. Mostly because I don't play MOBAs, and I don't much care to, because... As far as genres of games go, they're pretty boring. Gotcha. I don't understand this at all. We have to kill this guy somehow. That's the objective. That's all I know. All these flashing numbers and stuff. I don't even notice that I have a health bar because of how, like, weird it all is. I, I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do. I can't snipe the guy, so there's a lot of lacking realism right now. Oh, and I died. Okay. <sighs> this is a little... What in the world would I upgrade? I don't even know. This is perfect for getting in or getting out. Hold space to get home to the line. Spread space again. Jump off. Oh wait, I just blew it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Where's my gun? Don't I, like, have something cool? I'm trying to point the crosshair, but instead I have to zoom in in order to do stuff. It's kind of overcomplicated. This is clearly meant for people who are smart enough to do something with this kind of game. Not me, though. I'm not nearly smart enough for this. Ah, crap. Oh. Well, this is interesting. I can just... Whoa, I can just time him out, basically. Oh, this is... This is funny. What ability do they want me to upgrade? Oh, shoot. Ah, okay. I don't know what it wants me to do. I cannot immediately tell what I'm supposed to do. Hold space to get on the transit line. It's time to ride the transit line. Hold space to get head to the curiosity shop. I get something better. Souls. The first time you open the shop, man. What the? Will show you recommended Swing by any time. Wait, where is my currency? How many souls do I have? Okay. I don't understand any of this, and the voice acting is not helping with the immersion. Uh, keep playing, I guess, because I'm so confused still. I don't understand any of this. My shooter brain doesn't want me to understand this. Aren't these little cannon fodder things? Why do they take up so much, like, ammo, quote-unquote, right? Thank you for the heals, buddy. Someone order a cocktail? Get busted. Not enough stamina? Oh, shoot. Ah, crap. Whoa, he's trying to attack me. 
So not only do I have to shoot him, but I have to shoot the thing that comes out of him later. This is just a great big convoluted mess. I don't like this. Uh, uh, maybe maybe this game just isn't for me, but I can't I can't see myself enjoying this. Oh well, that happened. That sucks. This also feels like it was designed for a console, and most certainly not a. Um, Well, it doesn't feel like this was designed for me. This doesn't feel like it was designed for anybody. I don't even know what is supposed to go on here. Turn them to okay, okay. I don't know why it's making a reload sound when it's finger guns. I shouldn't need ammunition for a finger gun. That's just weird. There's not gonna be a oh, I right click to... I don't... I don't understand how any of this works. What the heck? There is so much nonsense. I want to spend it on this. Why can't I spend anything on this? Is it not what it's... Why won't it allow me? Gotta make sure I get in quick to deliver this. That's dumb. Never seems to run out of ammo either, so. Upgrade my powers. Excellent work. So, do I just jump in here? Oh, I can't. Well, then what's the point? What am I supposed to do? Shoot this guy? Try to keep up. What the? Hold tab to upgrade an ability. I want to upgrade this ability. Why won't you let me? This game doesn't even make sense. Now I don't know what to do. Um, leave sandbox? I guess? Lane training. It is so nice to know that my years of antisocial behavior can't be put to good use. I I'll just use this character because this is the same guy I've been using. This makes no sense at all. I cannot. I cannot for the life of me understand this. This game is so confusing. We'll see if the internet even connects or if my computer just crashes. That'd be funny.
The goal of the early game is to gain power so you can take objectives. When you complete the goals listed on the right, we'll be given unimaginable power unimaginable so you can take down the guardian. Yeah, we'll see about that. There's only two players on each team. What the heck is this supposed to even be? I am one of the patrons, and today I will be your guide. I don't. First, I don't want a guide. I shouldn't need this. I should just understand how to play the game intuitively. This is this is a waste of my time. You only earn souls off a dying trooper if you or an ally deal the killing blow. Why don't these all just come unlocked from the- Oh, I see. They don't come all unlocked from the start. This is very odd. Hmm. I do not know what I am required to do. The enemy guardian is near. And there's a... A boss meter of sorts. Where? Oh, goodness gracious. That's a walker. Right, I forgot. So they're only shootable when they're able to shoot you. Um, I don't like that. That doesn't give me much of a chance to really, uh... I can wake them up. Okay, that's something. Well, okay, okay. You can apparently shoot over that wall. The base looked far away. But they'll just spend a few seconds on the transit line and to be dead. Don't forget to shoot a blue soul out of the air. Blue? The heck does that even mean? Ah, crap. Ah, crap. I'm in so much trouble right now. Yeah. The more powerful you become, the longer you stay out of action when you die. Perhaps use this time to go shopping for when you return to the portal coil. This confuses me greatly. Transit lines are the fastest way to get around the city. To use them, just look up at the line. If all you need to do is press F to speed. Be careful though. If you get hurt in combat, it will take a few seconds for you to establish a connection with the transit line. These nodes won't attack you unless you attack them. But if you're looking to pick a fight, it's a great way to earn an extra coin. No medic call, so I don't know how I'm supposed to be healed other than people just happening to know, like, how to call for a doctor or something. Oh, great. A blue soul, yes, yes. I'm sure. You have four training tasks left. This is so weird. What did she say? It takes longer each time you die to respawn. I'm very confused by this whole ordeal. I, I really cannot, for the life of me, understand this. This is... Oh. You can only speed every 300 seconds. Wow. That's some real appropriate uh, gameplay right there. Love it. Every time you put the final bullet into a trooper, you earn souls. But be careful. If an enemy shoots the soul flying out of a trooper... I shouldn't need this. We need 
need the troopers to lower the guardian shield. Don't try going toe to toe with the guardian. I'm gonna do it. Watch me. Huh? Don't forget to shoot a blue soul out of the air. I don't know what that means. Where on earth would a blue soul even be, huh? Oh crap. The sound is way, 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 way cinematic. Like, it's almost too much to listen to. There's too much like movie theater style noise at once. Which is fine, but at the same time it doesn't doesn't seem like it just doesn't seem like it works that well. I am very perturbed by this whole ordeal. Is there a sniper bot or something that I can like play as or a sniper character? Because that would be intuitive to me. Alright, second computer crash, which is not the fault of the game, I'm fairly certain, because my computer just has a meltdown all the time. Uh, so I'm done with the, uh, tutorials, I suppose, but, um, gosh, nobody here looks significant in the slightest. There's not even a silhouette thing going on. It's just too much over-designing or under-designing, and then nobody is significant at all. And, and of course, the matte lighting that I have an issue with. Um, the game is boring, there's no music, um, <sighs> oh, public bot match. I'm gonna play a robot this time. Maybe a robot that can actually shoot a real gun. I'm gonna... Why is it heroes? None of these guys look like heroes. They just look like like mercenaries or villains of some kind, you know? They don't actually look like like somebody I would see rescuing the city. Certainly not this dreary city. No one's rescuing that. Why does everything have to be so flashy and weird and why is the game crashing? That's not great. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can still hear the audio, but it's not. <laughs> oh, this is great. My computer is just exploding. Okay, well, hopefully this works. Is this ever going to load? Okay, I guess it's not. Jeez. I'm just scrolling on Twitter or X right now. 
Oh my gosh. So tab doesn't show me anything. Okay, it gives me a KDA. No ping values, which is a little annoying. What do I do? Do I... Oh, oh I'm, I'm fat boy. Okay. I got a pistol. That's cool. No weapon selections, which really friggin' sucks. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh gosh. Wait a minute. Who are my enemies? Because these are the green guys. But am I on like a team of some kind or am I just kind of alone? Also, why is the first jump so small, but then the second jump is so, t so big? I... I genuinely cannot comprehend what is going on right now. Is that lag? Well I done. I'm assuming because I can't hit her, that means she's on my team. Is there a chat at all? Why does... Oh. It's a pretty pathetic gun. I don't even know what that did. Am I gonna find out? Probably not. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. going in. Need help on blue. Whatever. I don't understand. I don't understand this game. I wish lanes were not necessarily like. I'm key. I keep hitting the number keys as if I'm switching weapons, but I don't. I don't understand what I'm doing. I can't. I don't know if I can play this. There's nothing self-explanatory about this game. Everything has to hold your hand, which, if that has to be the case, is kind of bad game design. I I would say. I don't. I don't think this is really great. Um. Everything is a handhold. You just have to... You just have to get it, I guess. Which is tough if you don't, you know? I don't know what that did! Like, this is where I would switch to a melee. I don't... I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to switch my, um, my, like, class or something. Didn't they say I was supposed to select three heroes? Can't I switch between them or something? I am currently incapable of comprehending anything I'm doing right now, and that's frustrating to me. No fall damage. Cool, I guess. Stop! Who's shooting me? This game is annoying me more than anything. Is that the sniper-ish character? Because this whole thing just makes it seem pretty... Pretty obsolete.
There's, I can't, I can't do this. Yes, abandon my friends. Jeez, I, I can't, I can't do this. Please exit game. Please let me exit the game. Yes. This, I, 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 I can't do this.